boy. It's hot enough to boil a monkey's bum. I thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown of the uh, Range Rover. I'm just, I've got it in the air, I'm going to drop it down, but I thought I'd show you the brakes. Um, as I mentioned before, we had the, I had to tap out the swivel housing to M12 to accept the calipers. They fitted great. I had a bit of a trouble bleeding the brakes through, so I got Deborah down this morning to just operate the air pressurised system. I have this thing here that goes on top of the reservoir and you can just put about, you know, two or three, P, two or three PSI in and it just puts in just enough pressure without exploding the uh, reservoir so we can easily bleed it through and it's perfect now, so that's good. We've got all the lights working, everything's done, the bumper corners are on. I'll show you what I've been doing under the bonnet before I box it all back up, but I'll show you the brakes. So there we are, these are um, Defender brakes with Ferrodo pads in. They're off the uh, 110 with the ventilated discs. Puma, TD5, they're all the same. Fitted kind of nice. I took off the twin hose system, so now it's only got one hose in. Perhaps you can see that, maybe it's too dark, I don't know. But they, they fit really nice. You didn't even have to trim the, uh, the shield. So that's done. We've got brake fluid everywhere, because I'll had. i show you when I drop the car down what a carry-on I had with it. But um, I've got a few more bits to do inside electrical work. I've got that back corner fitted nice. All the lights work at the back. I am not under-sealing it. I'm not going to, not under-sealing, but I'm not going to rust-proof it until it's past inspection, just in case it needs some work doing. Because you know what they like at an inspection. The door mirrors are all on there, look nice. I've got to do a back, I've got to recheck all these wires inside here, just double check them. And also the hose for the screen wash before we button it all up and put the headline in. Um, this pin here is bent. I did that by pushing the car back many years ago and scratched it, but I'll, I'll take care of that. And apart from that, no, it's all right. The center dash is in. Sunroof's in. Let's get it down and I'll show you uh, what we did to the uh, brakes. Right, so that's the servo in instead of that Wabco unit. Uh, some things to note if you ever want to do one of these. That uh, it bolts straight up to the panel at the back. That's good. And also, the length of the rod is exactly right to go onto the pedal. What you have to know is there's two holes in the pedal for the pins. The top hole goes for the Wabco and the bottom hole goes for the uh, servo. Alright, so that's nice. I've got the shuttle valve thing down there. Little T-piece there that goes to the brakes. So we've got one line going to the back brakes uh, over there and one going this way. So that's done. This is all done. I've got a bit of a cat's nest over there. Rat's nest, whatever cat's nest to sort out yet, but I can do that outside. You know, I, all I've got to do really is pick out the wires for the AC now and all the rest will work. Uh, I've got some AC fan wires here that's just kicking about that's going to get caught in the strap. I'll take them out of the way. Yeah, you see uh, these green and white wires, they're all to do with it, but I've got to find out what switches the computer on at that side, so that's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? So that's done. It's looking good. I'd, I've put a new LED bulb in the light for the under bonnet. That's working, but I've disconnected for now because when we we flat, flattened the battery by leaving the bonnet open inadvertently. So that's coming on. the The inside isn't uh, obviously finished yet because, like I said, Jim will be here shortly. So we're going to pull all this mm -hmm. lot out. We've got a, quite a bit to do yet. Uh, for the AC, we've got to get into that the load of relays there, find out which is the relay that switches it on. Uh, if you notice, I've got a piece of uh, tape across the heater switch there, and that's because the LED, well, the little bulb inside's gone, which means taking it all out again. I've done a video, I started to do a video on LEDs, so changing the bulbs to LEDs, I've got some. I'll uh, do that separately, but let's get this car out. Um, everything's like I say, is just about working. I've got to make sure the electric mirror's working. There's power to the mirror. But apart from that, it's not too bad. All these wires want 
tying up to the ceiling Get, getting Lionel Richie to do that when he stopped dancing on the ceiling and that's it so really it's now it's just like bolting the, put the headline in bolt the seats in and it's getting there it's almost uh, like the seat it's almost done and then it'd be up the drive Poof, I doubt it well we'll see right I hope you like that that was just a little quick walk around like I said put the disco wipers on <laughs> they seem to fit nice you know, people purists will say, oh, they're disco ones, they're not Range Rover ones. Hardly anything on this is Range Rover apart from the body shelf. <laughs> Who cares? It's a car. It's, you know, as long as it's made reliable and usable and it's safe, we we'll, uh, we'll should be alright. Alright, we'll sign this off and let's get this out.